Hello Linux fans, Rob here. I want to do a quick follow-up to my video from last night, Microsoft Office with Linux 365 Plus Ice. So I want to give a shout out to, uh, to uh, astute viewers of Linux Quest who brought to my attention and kind of reminded me, helped me to remember uh, that Microsoft Office Online is free. So uh, thank you to Lars and Kyle for bringing that to my attention. Um, it seems like I have forgotten more than I remember, but <laughs> at any rate, I do recall um, the announcement, uh, reading about the announcement of Office Online for free. Now it's limited, it's not as full featured as if you were to install it. And I also appreciate the colorful comments towards Microsoft and Microsoft Office because we are Linux focused here, so uh, received a few nice colorful <laughs> comments about Microsoft. I'll leave that to your imagination. Um, so I've got one other big shout out too, but before I get into that, again, the reason for showing Microsoft Online and showing how to set it up through ICE so that you can interact with it like, more like you would if it was an application installed through a window, for example. Um, the reason for showing that is because if Microsoft Office was one of your stumbling blocks for not using Linux, this is a straightforward, fairly easy approach. And icing on the cake now is with Microsoft Office Online being free, uh, a very inexpensive way to do that. Now, it will not solve all of your problems, and I know it's not an answer to everything if you rely on Microsoft Office for day in, day out task for your work or whatever. Uh, but it's good for someone like myself who only needs it occasionally if the formatting of the document that I'm working on uh, doesn't come through properly through LibreOffice or WPS Office. So, you know, this is something that I would fall back to from time to time. All right, so hopefully I haven't confused the issue. Basically, it's a bonus that if you have to access it, it's free online. You can still set it up through ICE, uh, as I showed in the previous video, or if you use Chrome through your Linux OS, if you have Chrome installed, there is a way, an easier way, to add the same links and shortcuts and to open it up in a window through Chrome. And so I want to give a big shout out to Kevin Vandy, who uh, kind of stepped me through the process. And um, so I'm going to share this with you via Kevin Vandy. So check out his uh, channel here. He's got some info here on VirtualBox and uh, several other videos that may be of interest to you. So uh, Kevin, a big thank you for that. And now we'll step through that process. And so uh, once you have created, or maybe you already have a Microsoft Outlook.com or a Live.com address, you can log in and you would have access for free. So again, thank you Lars and Kyle for free to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, OneNote in this case. Now, the video I did, I knew it from the perspective of Office 365 and just assumed that that was part of my Office 365 subscription. With Office 365 for my business, you have some added perks of uh, 60 Skype minutes and uh, also one terabyte of OneDrive storage. Now, again, this is a Linux-focused channel, so I'm not here to praise the merits of Office 365, so no hate mail, no hate messages, please. But I did want to share this, because again, the main focus is allow people to um, be knowledgeable enough about what's available today so that they can find, and I'm going to call it maybe a workaround, so that they can find ways to use an OS of their choice, in this case Linux, a superior operating system, and not be stuck in um, you know, maybe Mac or Windows simply because they have to use Office, or Microsoft Office in this case. All right, so with that said, let's go through the process here. So we're going to launch this time into PowerPoint. So once you've logged in, you'll see a list of these tiled icons. You're going to log into PowerPoint here. Now once there, uh, as a matter of fact, I wanted to point out one other thing. Uh, for whatever reason, on my system, Firefox runs Office Online better than Chrome or Chromium. You'll see it's still spinning here. We're going to go ahead and stop that. But once you've launched in and everything's loaded, 
uh, you're going to go over to the menu on the right hand side and we'll go ahead and click and you'll get a drop down slide down to more tools and click on add to desktop now you're going to see a pop-up uh, you'll see the title you're going to want to make sure that you have checked open as window now we're going to go up here we have an option to rename this shortcut and I'm just going to leave it at PowerPoint and we'll click add now on uh, my setup here it's not actually adding anything to my desktop at this point and it's not adding anything to the Chrome Apps folder at this point so we're going to go back in what it's doing is it's actually putting a link or a shortcut in the Chrome Apps page they're, they're large, ugly, fuzzy icons here. So um, you notice how beautiful and crisp and clear the Chrome icons are as opposed to the Microsoft icon. I wonder if they planned it that way. But anyway, so, all right. So from this point, once you've got your link uh, within Chrome Apps, you'll right click and choose Create Shortcuts. So you have two options there. You could choose Desktop or and or Applications menu. So we're just going to go with applications menu here and click on create. Now from that point you will have um, within your Chrome Apps uh, folder you'll see a link to PowerPoint and with that you could right click and uh, choose add to panel. Let's go back up here again so from that point you could choose add to panel if you're within KDE um, or you could you know add a link as a launcher here or add it uh, to your desktop as you see here and it will open in a window in a Chrome window now it's launching fast here within the window and it may be that we had it pre pre uh, preloaded before but you'll see here it's in a window and you can treat it um, just like the ice window that was set up in the other video so Kevin awesome tip um, you could use either you could use ice or if you're running Chrome, you could set it up just as we showed here through Chrome. So thank you, Kevin. And I uh, hope this helps. I hope I haven't confused things more than clarified things. But uh, again, ultimate goal here, people who have a stumbling block, be it Microsoft Office, perhaps this is a way that you can overcome that stumbling block and move over on to Linux and give it a try. So hope this helps. Appreciate you guys watching and we will check you later.